Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your truly Lord of the the Mad High Lord of Process Army. I'm preparing level 22 boxes, man, just like in 2013 and all around guy. Look at that spatula. Mm. And a small burnt book. <gasps> and clipboards! I did have a. No, I had earnings. Me. Alright, moving out. I don't actually know what quest to head on because I haven't really played this game as much. Wasting survival guide sounds like something I should continue when I have more skills in stealth. Rivet City doesn't sound like a place to go right now either. So finding Galaxy News Radio sounds good. Oh well, yeah, let's go look that look at that. Assuming I have a quest marker for it. I seem to. Very, I see an NPC on the map, but I don't know where it might be. The compass, even. Oh, never mind. So? Mm, that way? Okay. Hey, you're not gonna get any thirsty, less thirsty if you're gonna sit here all the day. You've helped me so much. It seems wrong to ask, but can you spare any more water? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any water to give you. Oh, please. If you find some, please. So he's gonna be a beggar forever. Is that so? So just a good way to increase karma. Which kind of reminds me of that uh, speech from Knights of the Old Republic 2 where it was like, if you keep helping them, they'll just get weaker because they don't know how to do anything for themselves. Which seems to be the case for Mickey. So? Um, I wonder where that enclave armor was. It was atop the valley, right? Probably on this side because stuff. I don't see a house there. Where's the super duper mart anyway? Nowhere around here. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Right. Draw the sword. Uh, can I? Is there? <gasps> I can. Do I want it on? Oh, there. No, I want this over one, number one. Yes. Or number two. Yeah, let's go with that. While everything else might be something to switch to and such. This sort of weapon is pretty much something I require to be available to me at any time. Because ranged weapons I'm picky about, I kinda go around and select one when I need one. On a melee weapon. I think I finished that speech already, I don't need to repeat that. Who is that? Oh, that's an enclave soldier, that's... That's that's not something I should uh, try to fight melee. So, let's do it! Woo! Got him up! Yes, you have! And you got me some stuff as well. But, uh, now the question is, do I want the enclave power armor? Or do I want an upgrade power helmet? Or do I want any of this stuff? Because... It seems to have good potential for damage resistance, but at the current state... My combat armor is almost as potent. And it's lighter. Though it doesn't give me extra strength. Which I don't really feel like I require. Also, I finally figured out that... Uh, well, what was I getting at? I finally figured out that the, the 30 .32 caliber rounds actually are what I require for my hunting rifle. I kept selling them because I thought they were for the .32 pistol, which was a useless weapon and didn't provide for enough silly times to be 
worth keeping around. That's a baby bear. How cute. Alright, uh, there's another corpse here. Which I missed previously. It's very nice to find these corpses. They provide me with well, well required uh, repairing materials and ammo. Both. Which are very, very important to me. Alright, the scrap metal as well. I wish I could turn some items into scraps so I could sell them for a better price. Though I don't know how many items I could actually. How many items, you know, can be transferred into something that would be valuable, more valuable as scrap metal than when they started out. What is this place? Is this the super duper mart? Ah, it is, isn't it? Of course it is. Ah, there's a trader here as well. Oh, is it the same scavenger dude, probably? Yeah, it is. Yo. Yo. Hey there. Hi. You have anything for sale? Everything has its price. Take a look and make me an offer. I only got to a sell my cigarettes. Doing business with you. Yeah, likewise. Bye. Bye. All the pleasure business. Then, yeah, I looted at these guys before, didn't I? Yeah, that's an arm. Yeah. That doesn't sound very likely. Likeable, anyway. You're right, this also means that my hunting rifle now can be repaired again. Now it's at a pretty good bloody state, I believe. And I have ammo for it as well, which is also pretty fantastic. So, quest marker shows over the river and far away. Ah. What is that? Those there are people. I need to investigate this. This seems intriguing. I wonder if those are raiders. Seems likely. Oh. This reminds me. Prepare the laser rifle as well. And the important thing, the sniper rifle. Which shouldn't give me an idea of what the hell is going on over there. Yeah, that does seem like... Oh, oh, caution. Who sees me? Do they see me? I hope they don't. I'm gonna take one out anyway. Assuming I can. Can I hold my breath in this? Because... My aim doesn't seem very steady. Hey, that's a raider, alright. God damn it. Keep missing. Oh. Leading my shots too far away. Like that, yeah. God damn it. Alright, so... There's someone out there with an assault rifle. That doesn't sound too much fun. Down there. Whoop. Take cover. Get out of cover. Take aim. Apparently, I was recommended to use the VATS more often. But, uh, not sure how much use it is with a sniper rifle. Well, probably more less used than well, more used than dying anyway. Oh, that one's almost dead. And after that one's done, I can distance myself from the battle for a second to heal up. God damn it! Can I? Can't I bloody aim for once. Apparently not. 
Too much mess for. No, seriously. No, no point being stealth anymore. Unless it does increase my aiming chance. What? Okay. If you keep snuggling, I'll just take you out, right? Or... Huh? What the bloody hell? Alright, I do want to go to that shore though. This river doesn't s seem very... Enjoyable to swim in. Oh, my blood's everywhere. Geronimo! Right, can I boost my swimming speed somehow? Apparently not. Not the cleanest water. Who are they? Super mutants! Okay. <laughs> it's probably a good thing I got off that shore then. I just have to wait for them to pass by. No need to take any unnecessary risks. Despite the fact that it won't help me repair my... Wait, no. I don't have any miniguns or the like. Yet. And I don't know if that's that is a Chinese assault rifle or not. Please, Mr. Super Mutants, go away far and away. And do not notice me. That would be ideal. Why am I walking into wherever they are currently firing then? Alright, because I'm an idiot. Hmm. This is not a silent weapon, they will hear me if I open fire. Oh! Someone has noticed me. But I don't know if it's the raider or if it's the super mutants. I don't like that the raider is having a nap time over there because I was kind of hoping to kill her. And the nap time nonsense really confuses me and I don't know what it's about. Well, I can just hope that the firefight ends up... ends soon enough. Without them opening fire on me. Oh, is that the shotgun? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is not going to work. Let me just take these shotgun shells and run away. Where the hell was I heading anyway? That way. I will assume that the super mutants will not try to swim after me. Because if they will... Well, I won't exactly like that, will I? Wait. Map marker, what are you doing? Data, world map, uh, Chin Air Building Plaza is over there. Why is it telling me to go to the metro station? Can I take the metro? Or not? Then. Is it safer to move underground? Uh, that one is still aware that I exist. I want to see if I can walk there. Because I... Don't know if I want to go on the ground. So I'm not entirely sure if this is much wiser. Because this, this is super mutant hood. Downtown area. 
Could go bad. Could go in worse than bad. Keep sneaking. Keep sneaking. Uh, and yeah, that still wants me to go to the metro. But I don't want to go in the metro. But the supposed to big rubber walls kinda don't allow me to pass to the area on foot. Unless that's an entrance. No it isn't, it's just rubble. I was hoping for more rubble than that, I guess. I cannot climb these walls, can I? I say as I climb the walls. Ah, I tend to turn into invisible walls, never mind. So the metro station is indeed where I'm meant to go. So I'll return there and then call it the end of the episode as I will venture forth under the ground in hopes of finding Galaxy Radio Station. Or was it Galaxy News Radio? Still station. Is it? The studio. Would be probably more appropriate in this scenario. Yeah. Probably. Hmm. This episode hasn't had an explosion yet, but I don't kind of want to explode everything right now. How's our super mutant infestation? It's still going on. God damn it. It's a good thing I made it out of there before they arrived. Ah. Okay, it's night time. Maybe they will not notice me when I try to sneak onto the radio corpses. Please. At least they won't notice me taking these cartons of cigarettes. Quick save. Silent drop. Another silent drop. I don't know if I actually need some sort of a... perk for silent drops. I'm being stealthy, you cannot see me. Alright. If they do see me, I will probably die. Unless I don't. Which would be preferable. Okay, almost to the Raiders. Still don't know why they dropped over and didn't initially die. Okay, other combat shotgun, shotgun shells. All good. 10mm submachine gun, sure. So there wasn't actually an assault rifle involved on this shore. So yeah, just shotguns and other stuff. Ooh, yes. Good thing I decided to explore this place. Less of a good thing that there are super mutants on the other shore waiting for me to show myself. So that they can try to kill me. Yeah, and I showed myself. Run away! Keep on running! Don't stop! I will go and make my way into the metro station and uh, die inside there instead. Sounds like a plan. So on that note, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.